that major escalation from Russia over Ukraine, the U.S. bracing tonight for what could come next. Tonight, Russian President Vladimir Putin has told the Russian people he is now recognizing the independence of two separatist regions of Ukraine. And tonight, he has already ordered Russian troops to move into those two breakaway regions to, quote, maintain peace in that part of Ukraine. Tonight, President Biden responding with new but so far mild sanctions, still bracing for what Putin could do next. The U.S. warning Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky to leave the capital of Kyiv for his own safety. President Biden speaking with him late today. Zelensky is expected to speak to the people of Ukraine any time now. Vladimir Putin, in a series of carefully planned out moments, holding a televised meeting with his national security team, during which he asked each of them, should he recognize those two separatist regions in eastern Ukraine as independent? They all answered yes. Then late today, speaking to the Russian people in a televised address, arguing Ukraine is not just a neighbor, but a country with, quote, blood and family ties to Russia, calling the Ukrainian government corrupt and a puppet of the West. Putin claiming Ukraine is the aggressor. In recent days, flooding Russian TV with images of women, children and the elderly being evacuated from eastern Ukraine. Though the U.S. believes all of this has been orchestrated, that Ukraine has planned no military action. Tonight, more than 150,000 Russian troops still posted on three sides of Ukraine. President Biden for a second day now holding urgent meetings at the White House with his national security team. ABC Cecilia Vega at the White House tonight. James Longman from Moscow. Martha Raddatz on the border of Ukraine and Poland. What she's learning from her sources tonight. But we do begin with ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel in the capital of Kyiv, Ukraine. Tonight, a dangerous escalation in the Ukraine crisis. Russian President Vladimir Putin formally recognizing two pro-Russian rebel areas in the east of the country as independent, ordering his military to move across the border under the guise of peacekeeping. In an hour-long, sometimes angry speech, Putin questioning Ukraine's legitimacy, accusing its leaders of being a puppet of the Western world that's trying to undermine and weaken Russia. And after days of false flag operations that Western leaders say are manufactured, Putin telling the Russian people it's actually Ukraine attacking, with this warning to Ukraine's leader. We demand you immediately cease military action, says Putin, otherwise all bloodshed will be on your hands. Putin is using justifications like peacekeeping, which no one outside of Russia will believe, but the Russian people will believe, because Mr. Putin controls what they see and hear. The move could open the way to Russia formally annexing the regions which it's de facto controlled in any case. President Biden for a second day in a row convening an urgent meeting of his national security team. Despite warning of catastrophic consequences, the White House choosing to impose relatively minor sanctions for now. The European Union also condemning Russia's move as a blatant violation of international law and promising more sanctions. Earlier in the day, in a bizarre orchestrated performance, Putin gathered his top national security advisers on live TV to ask if he should recognize the rebel regions as independent. Unsurprisingly, they all said yes. Russia's amassed more than 150,000 troops around Ukraine's borders. New satellite images showing some of the Kremlin's forces less than six miles from the Ukrainian border. The fear is whether tonight's announcement might just be the opening move in a larger scale, devastating invasion of Ukraine. The White House calling Ukrainian President Zelensky tonight and urging him to leave the capital immediately for his own safety. A significant move in that respect. Ian Panel with us again tonight from Kyiv. And Ian, as you just reported, U.S. officials have now warned President Zelensky to leave the capital. I know authorities are not only concerned about uh, eastern Ukraine, Russian troops in those two separatist regions are expected, but there's also concern about Kyiv as well. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, we know that Zelensky has spoken with President Biden and other world leaders, and they're all pretty much giving the same message. I think it's unlikely that he's going to heed these warnings to leave Kiev, though, because to do so would create the very thing he's been trying to avoid, which is, of course, spread panic in the country. But nevertheless, the United States is convinced that the capital is going to be attacked and it could very quickly become unstable and dangerous. But I think it's hard to imagine that either Zelensky is going to leave or that the Ukrainian people will give Give up Kiev without a significant fight. And David? Ian, in the meantime, we should point out that right after Putin declared those two regions in eastern Ukraine independent, 
Uh, there appeared to be a choreographed display of fireworks in one of those regions. Uh, what many say is proof that all of this has been orchestrated. Yeah, that's right. I mean, almost farcical display. There are only a handful of people who suddenly appeared on the streets to see these fireworks, but most people are staying at home, or some of the people have actually been evacuated from the country uh, altogether. And I think this fits this pattern of these videos without any authentication. For example, sirens going off, but no signs of explosions, attacks coming in, but the evidence that's shown isn't very convincing. But we have to remember, we're not the audience here. The audience is the people who live in the republics and the Russian domestic audience. They're being sold a counter-narrative that basically says Ukraine is attacking them. David. Ian Pennell leading us off on this Monday night. Ian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.